Plants and Seeds. Welcoming Decor Garden, please watch and subscribe to see more. Our Seeds Guide, Care, New Gardener, Sowing Season. Winter flowers should be sown in seasons when night temperature remains around 18 C to 20 C. Other season summer flower is preferred. Oats can be sown anytime with proper care. Vegetables can be sown throughout the year except some seasonals like delichos, call Rabi. Soaking seeds enhances chance of germination. First, soak the seeds. Small seeds like rosemary for 4 hours. Medium seeds like beans for 1 day and large seeds like gourds for 1. 5 days and drain water let it stay for 1 hours and then sow to a depth small seeds like rosemary. Stevia or similar seeds shall be sprayed on soil bed with minimum to no soil covering. Medium size like coriander seed around 0.5 cm depth maximum. Watering soil should be moist during sowing to germination process, but not soggy. A water sprayer is recommended to avoid soil and eventually seed erosion during watering. Many reasons for gardening, the love of vibrant surrounding with flowers, herbs, or vegetables. It feels blessed when you care the plant you have grown. It's even more when you see the seeds you have shown popping out from soil. After some time it bears fruit and you pluck it fills the heart with joy. The touch of soil boosts our mind and make us happy. Gardening dexterous us and soothe our eyes when we see the plants near to us, be it your balcony or terrace. We suggest you to make your garden near where you make frequent, but not to interfering movements. Imagine how good that weekend or morning be when you are watering your little garden in terrace or balcony. We from Seed and Plant support you to make your little beautiful green garden by supplying best quality seeds. From Seed and Plant we wish you happy gardening. There are many ways to start seeds, but a seed starting system, such as the Grow We Seed Starting Kit, ensures good results. Growing plants from seed is a great way to start gardening earlier in the season. With the right light and some simple equipment, it's easy to grow from seed to harvest. You can start seeds in almost any type of container, as long as it's at least 2 to 3 deep and has some drainage holes. If you are the DIY type, you might want to grow seedlings in recycled yogurt cups, milk cartons, or paper cups. However, trays that are made especially for seed starting are easy to fill with grow medium, convenient to move, and have proper drainage already in place underneath a sucious a seed starting mix. That's made for germinating seeds. Do not use soil from your garden or reuse potting soil from your houseplants. Start with a fresh, sterile mix that will ensure healthy, disease-free seedlings. Before filling your containers, use a bucket or top to moisten the planting mix. The goal is to get it moist but not sopping wet, crumbly, not gloppy. Fill the containers and pack the soil firmly to eliminate gaps. Remember that most mixes contain few, if any, nutrients. So you'll need to feed the seedlings with liquid fertilizer a few weeks after they germinate and continue until you transplant them into the garden. Check the seed packet to see how deep you should plant your seeds. Some seeds require light for germination and should be sprinkled on the soil surface. Other seeds may need to be buried under 1 8 to 1 inch of soil. For insurance, you can plant to seeds per cell or pot if both seeds germinate. Snip one and let the other grow thin. It's helpful to make a couple divots in each pot to accommodate the seeds. After you've dropped a seed in each divot, you can go back and cover the seeds. Moisten the newly planted seeds with a mister or a small watering can to speed germination. Cover the pots with plastic wrap or a humidity dome that fits over the seed starting tray. This helps keep the seeds moist before they germinate. When you see the first signs of green, remove the cover. As the seedlings grow, use a mister or a small watering can to keep the soil moist but not soggy. Let the soil dry slightly between waterings. Containers with holes on the bottom can be set down in a tray and water can be added to the tray. Bottom watering is an effective way to keep newly formed roots moist without getting upper leaves wet and risking rot. There are a number of factors that affect seed germination. Check the seed packet to determine if all the requirements for temperature and light were met. If the soil was cold and excessively wet, the seeds may have rotted. Dig up one of the seeds and examine it if it is swollen and soft. 
The seed has rotted and you will need to start over. If the soil was too dry, the seeds may not have germinated or may have dried up before their roots could take hold. If the seeds were old, they may no longer be viable. Try again and be sure to provide consistent moisture. It's not a good idea to move your seedlings directly from the protected environment of your home into the garden. You've been coddling these seedlings for weeks, so they need a gradual transition to the great outdoors. The process is called hardening off. About a week before you plan to set the seedlings into the garden, place them in a protected spot outdoors partly shaded, out of the wind for a few hours, bringing them in at night. If the sun heats up, be sure to check on their water levels. Seed starting cells are shallow and will dry up quickly. Gradually, over the course of a week or 10 days, expose them to more and more sunshine and wind. A cold frame is a great place to harden off plants. Purple leaves are an indication that the plant is not receiving enough phosphorus. If you have been using half-strength fertilizer for the first three to four weeks of the seedlings, life, it may be time to increase the fertilizer to full strength. The phosphorus content the middle number on the fertilizer analysis should be at least three. When the stems of young seedlings become withered and topple over, they have probably been killed by a soil-borne fungus called damping off. This fungus is difficult to eradicate once it is present in the soil, but you can avoid it by using a sterile, soilless growing medium and by providing good air circulation. Plants grow tall and leggy when they do not receive enough light. Use grow lights to ensure that they receive 15 hours of bright light each day. Warm temperatures can also stimulate leggy growth. Try lowering the room temperature and reducing the amount of fertilizer you apply. For more on this topic, see the article How to Garden with Grow Lights. The formation of the seed is the defining part of the process of reproduction in seed plants, spermatophytes. Other plants such as ferns, mosses, and liverworts do not have seeds and use water-dependent means to propagate themselves. Seed plants now dominate biological niches on land, from forests to grasslands both in hot and cold climates. In the flowering plants, the ovary ripens into a fruit which contains the seed and serves to disseminate it. Many structures commonly referred to as seeds are actually dry fruits. Sunflower seeds are sometimes sold commercially while still enclosed within the hard wall of the fruit, which must be split open to reach the seed. Different groups of plants have other modifications. The so-called stone fruits such as the peach have a hardened fruit layer, the endocarp, fused to and surrounding the actual seed. Nuts are the one seeded, hard-shelled fruit of some plants with an indehiscent seed, such as an acorn or hazelnut. Seed germination is a process by which a seed embryo develops into a seedling. It involves the reactivation of the metabolic pathways that lead to growth and the emergence of the radical or seed root and plumule or shoot. The emergence of the seedling above the soil surface is the next phase of the plant's growth and is called seedling establishment. 45